Hey there, it's Amelia, and in this video I'm going to show you how to watch YouTube videos faster or slower using a few built-in features on both desktop and mobile devices. If you want to save time and watch videos faster, this is for you. Keep watching. And before I begin, if you find this video helpful, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Also, be sure to stay to the end of this video for a bonus tip that most people don't even know exists on mobile devices. So why would you want to adjust the speed of a video? Maybe you're watching a video and the speaker talks too slow like this. I'm definitely guilty of that. Maybe you want to review a training video that's long, like this particular one is one of my longer videos and it's over 25 minutes. In that case, maybe you want to speed up the video. Say you're watching a video that's an hour. Instead of one hour, you can speed it up and watch it in a half hour. On the flip side, maybe you're learning something technical and you need to slow it down. Or like me, maybe you just want to save time and boost productivity. Let's look at all the ways you can control video speed. First, let's review how to change playback speed on a desktop or laptop computer. On the bottom right of your video, you want to click on the gear icon for settings. Then select playback speed. You could either use the slider bar to make it slower or faster, up to two times as fast. So let's give a listen to see if we wanted to speed it up to, say, let's start with one and a half. Let's see what that sounds like. Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I laid out one of my coloring and activity books using primarily Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. Okay, I mean, that's a lot faster, but there's actually the one that's even faster, which I use a lot. So let's go all the way up to two times as fast. Hey there, it's Amelia, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how I laid out one of my coloring and activity books using primarily Microsoft Word and Microsoft PowerPoint. I mean, I use that a lot when I'm in a hurry and I want to speed through videos, so you can give that a try. And if you're watching something and you want to slow it down, then in your playback speed, just select something like uh, maybe 0.75. Let's try that. So three pages of my coloring and activity. Okay, obviously that's way too slow to listen to, but there are times when you may want to slow it down. So you can experiment with the uh, settings and we'll put it back to normal, which is one time. Now also when you're playing your video on your computer, you can also use keyboard shortcuts. So you could use this keyboard shortcut, shift greater than symbol to increase the speed, or use the keyboard shortcut, shift less than symbol to decrease the speed. Let's give it a try. I'll play the video and then I'm gonna hit shift, greater than to increase the speed math with pasta and meatballs so i started out with my children's rhyming picture books and then i thought it might be fun to create and now i'll use the other keyboard shortcut to slow it down companion coloring books and i decided to add a lot of educational activity sheets inside the coloring book so each time you tap the shift greater than or less than it will toggle to the next setting or if you hold it down it'll go all the way to the slowest or fastest Again, this is great if you want to speed through tutorials, meetings, podcasts, or any videos posted on YouTube. Now let's take a look at how to do this on your mobile device. Let's walk through how to change the playback speed using the YouTube app on your mobile device. Also show you what the different speeds sound like, the same as I did with a laptop computer. So first we're going to tap on the YouTube app, and this is in vertical mode right now, but I'm going to actually turn my phone sideways so that we could see the video on landscape orientation. So first we're going to tap anywhere on the video screen to bring up the controls. Now on the upper right I'm going to tap the gear icon to open up settings. Next I'll tap on playback speed and you'll see several options from 0.25 all the way up to two times the speed. You can also use this slider bar as well. I'll play a short clip at normal speed, then at 1.5, and then at two times so you can hear the difference on the mobile device. I'll show you how to trim and edit your video. Next, I'll change it to 1.5. Let's give a listen. Video helpful? Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Okay, and then I'll also change it to two times the speed. Once you upload your videos on YouTube, what if you notice something needs to be edited? As now let's hear what it sounds like when you slow down the video. This is great for tutorials, 
music lessons or anything with a lot of steps where you need to slow it down. Let's play it at 0.75, and I'll use the slider bar for that. Especially if you did a live stream, or even in general. It might sound a little funny, but it really helps when someone's speaking too fast or doing something detailed. Now for the bonus tip I mentioned earlier. On a mobile device, while you're watching a video, just long press on the right side of a video to temporarily boost playback to two times the speed without ever changing the settings. Let's give a look. So I'm going to go ahead and play the video and then I will long press on the right side and for as long as I hold my finger down, it's going to go all the way up to two times the speed and once I release my finger, then it will go back to normal speed. YouTube Studio offers an array of editing features. Let's check them out. You just go to studio.youtube.com. So this is really handy if you want to speed up temporarily or you're in a hurry, you don't feel like going into the settings. I use that all the time while I'm watching videos. So that's how you can fully control your YouTube experience watching videos, speed up, slow down, or skip through like a pro and save tons of time. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash the like button and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.